This is going to be a short tutorial that is going to help you learn how to create the shadow glow effect. Here are the steps that you're going to take. You're going to search for an element. You're going to search for your choice of an image. Then you're going to edit that image. You're going to do a shadow search within that edit image panel. You're going to pick glow effect and hover over to see the control panel. Let's do that now. Here is the elements tab on the left hand side. Click on your search bar and type in whatever it is you want. For this one, I'm searching for pumpkin. I'm going to find one of these that actually is an image. This is a graphic that does not have an edit image button. And I see this one. This one is free. When you click your image, this top panel changes and I want you to click on edit image. Shadows is in my recently used, but if it's not there, you're going to search shadows in the search bar and it will pop up for you. Click on glow and Canva works its magic. When you hover over glow, you're going to see that there are lines with circles in them. This is your control panel. Click it. A new panel pops up and gives you options. You can alter the size. I'm going to alter this one to 22. You can alter the transparency. I'm going to alter this one to 100. You can alter the blur. I'm going to change this one to zero. And then I'm going to change the color to white. After you do all of that, click apply. It says that all changes are saved. However, I would wait just a minute because it will flash like it did there and go saving paused. It might even come up apply again. I'm going to X this out and see. Let's click apply. It's still thinking. If you go and you start doing stuff too soon, then everything you did will go away. I do have one more tip for you. If you get your effect to where you like it, print, screen, your size, transparency, blur, and your color information. I'm going to do Shift Windows S. I will take myself a little snippet of this. Then I'm going to click Apply and I will go over here and paste it. Now my internet went offline and I'm hoping that it's going to come back here in a second because I'm a little worried that my effect will go away. But it's a good thing that I grabbed my screenshot of the size, transparency, and blur. Because now I know exactly how to edit it when it comes back online, if it were to disappear. All changes are saved. Perfect. I hope you found this mini Canva tutorial perfect for learning shadow glow effect on an image. Be sure to practice this effect because next lesson we will use it on the Halloween flyer we will be learning how to make. Thanks so much for learning with me today. If you like this video and want to see more like it, please give it a thumbs up and comment below to ask any questions that you have. I recommend watching this lesson next. See you next time. Bye.